Now join our regularly scheduled program, already in progress. Uh, what they're doing. You pointed that out to me over the years. There are some major schools in attendance. We'll be pointing out some of the schools to you and the coaches that are here as they watch them uh, on their way up. Now we have competition in three different age groups here. Tonight. Right. We have ages 12 to 14. That's the first group. We have um, 15 and 16 year olds and then 17 years old and up. Now they'll also be competing in a team competition but like some of the coaches we'll be watching some of the individuals as we watch them progress on the national scene. One of the young uh, gymnasts to watch, more Evans, who has been right on the cusp, a former member of the junior national team. Yes, yeah, she was a rising star on the junior national team. She slipped a bit in her execution and missed the cut by just one spot for qualifying for the national team in 2006. So she is on the comeback trail and hoping to do a great job at this competition and show the scouts what she's got. Yes, trying to attach the attention of the uh, college scouts as well. Geraldine Stack Eaton, another of those young athletes that we've watched progress year after year after year. Absolutely. Geraldine is an elite at Park. She's looking for a college scholarship and wants to impress the scouts as well. She's just getting back, along with many of her teammates, from a national training camp that was incredibly demanding physically. She's also fighting some shin splints. So she wants to make a good impression tonight and reclaim her title from 2005 when she won the Parquet meet. Unable to compete last year due to injury. Amber Trainee, another of these uh, young gymnasts that was also competing in this camp and maybe a little bit worn out at this point as well. Yes, these are demanding camps. And Amber Trainee, is probably one of the most uh competitive and uh, talented gymnast in this competition. Amber is doing a great job and uh, looking forward to showing the University of Georgia of uh, what they can see. She's now have a, she now has a verbal commitment with Georgia. To join the gym dogs and Amber has uh, been seen many times in your essential gymnastics segments as well. We'll be back with the start of the competition and Shannon's inside scoop as Gymnastics USA with Shannon Miller continues from the Parkhead Invitational right after this on CNA. Michelle, assistant coach at the University of Alabama, watching the stars of tomorrow today, hoping to build the Crimson Tide program, as are many coaches here at the Parkettes Invitational. Welcome back to Gymnastics USA with Shannon Miller. And as always, when we come to you, Shannon takes you inside her world of gymnastics. The Inside Scoop is presented by Inside Gymnastics. Log on today to subscribe. Today's Inside Scoop, I want to talk about the comeback, the return of the Hom brothers. Paul Hom, the Olympic and world champion, 2003 and 2004. And he is back with his brother Morgan Hom, silver medalist at the in the team competition in 2004. They've taken some time off for their education between 2004 and now, but they are ready for Beijing. They are back and at it in the gym, training hard. Now, of course, they're going to have to qualify along with everybody else for the Beijing men's Olympic team, but it should it should prove to be an exciting year ahead for these different competitions and these two young men. Well, that really is a, uh, a scoop. You took a little time off before you attempted to come back. It's not like in the off time you're sitting around eating Big Macs and French fries, right? They stay in well, pretty not good too shape. Much. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're staying in pretty good shape, but it is a, a tough road no matter what. For, from the Olympic champs of yesterday to maybe tomorrow, let's take a look now. The Parkhead Invitational 2007, and we begin on the vault. This is Whitney Bensko representing the North Stars Gymnastics Club. Yeah, she's in the 15, 16 year old competition. Starting off quick with your Chanko full twist. Nice form in the air. She keeps her legs nice and tight together. This should be a, a very nice score. Now each gymnast in this competition will perform two different vaults or two separate vaults. They can be the same type of vault and the judges will take the best score. So Whitney's second run. Tango full twist. And really, the only deduction is that one step, so it should be a good score. Nice and tight form in the air. Very good. Shannon called it a 9.65. Whitney Bensko on the fall. Now, our first look at the bars in the 15, 16 year old category Alina Weinstein. Form breaks here and there. A little bit flexed feet at the top, but a nice huge Takachev. One thing that 
we should see during this competition is a high level of difficulty. These are very good athletes. Giant swing to a nice double tuck. This was a nice solid routine. Get one under your belt. No big mistakes. Just a little form break here and there. Alina represents the Arena Gymnastics Club and her score on the bar is 9.425. Now to the balance beam and in the 12 to 14 year old category, this is Petra Mathis of the Brestians Gymnastics Club just outside of Boston. Quite a leap for a young lady of her size just to get up there. <laughs> I was just about to mention that. The beam's <laughs> taller than she is. Just right off the bat, I like the look in her eye. She seems very calm, very composed for such a young gymnast. Lay out, step out, lay out to two feet. We look at the strength in her thighs, even though she's a petite young lady. This routine is pretty packed with difficulty. Of course, this is the same gym and the same coach that brought us Alicia Sacramone, who we've seen over the years and now a member of our national team. Formed in the world, double front, nails the landing. Petra Mathis, just 12 years old, with a score on the beam of 9.65. And now to the vault, this is Amanda Carpenter. Strong, your Chanko full. Steps there on the landing. She misses the block just a tad. She'd push a little bit stronger off the horse before twisting to gain some height. Second vault now for Amanda, who competes for Prestige Gymnastics Club. Better landing on the second vault. It's a little bit more block, sees the floor, is able to hold that landing. 9.375 for Amanda Carpenter on the vault. And back to the bars, competing for Doc Siders Gymnastics Club, 15 to 16 year old age category, Toy Garcia. A prize, full pirouette, a lot of release moves being thrown in this competition. Bar set to start. We're watching those feet flex right through the bottom a little bit, but she points them during the double tuck and just has a small step on the landing. Toy score 9.225. They're competing in four different disciplines, so there are four rotations. We're still in the first from the Parquettes Invitational in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Uh, moms, dads, friends, and relatives, and college coaches all on hand along with us. And we'll be back with more here on CNA. back from Allentown and uh, uh, some of the friends and supporters of Julie Cotter who is uh, struggling with some injuries but will perform we believe in at least one of the disciplines here. This is Rachel Fincham on the bars. She competes for Docksiders Gymnastics. Blind change. Piked Jaeger. 
good. She holds a little bit of an arch in her back during some of these test to handstands. One thing she needs to work on, but certainly has some skills in this routine. Another head, second release move. And big Arabian double front dismount. Coming around here, she'll do a half twist and two fronts forward. Rachel, just 15 years old, scores a very solid 9.35 for Docksiders on the bars. And now here's Morgan Evans, uh, an athlete that we told you about at the top of our show. We've been watching for years, competed here a year ago, and scored just an 8.9 on the beam. And Morgan has had a rough year thus far, and she's really looking to get on that comeback trail, show these college scouts what she's got, and, and hopefully make the national team once again this year. There's nothing that makes you hungrier than missing a team by, by one slot. She just missed the cut for the 2016. So far, so good on this event. excited to see the level of difficulty in this competition. We've only seen a few routines and they've been packed. Round off double pike dismount. Great routine for Morgan. This really was a strong set, no major breaks. You can see her front aerial straight on, followed right in the series with the back handspring. Layout step out, completely solid. And this is a great dismount, double pike. You see a lot of double tucks, a lot of two and a halves, but she changes it up, does double pike, very nice. Morgan now 16 years old and a step up for her performance here a year ago. 9.15 is her score on the beam. This is Kareen Kava, who competes for the Hills Gymnastics Club in the 15, 16 year old age group. And our first look at floor exercise. Just Kelly Hill and Jim Bundy in the background. Opening up with a big double pike. series for a second tumbling pass and we're going to see a lot of uh, girls tonight competing with four tumbling passes just like they do at, at the Worlds, at the Olympics, at the top levels of competition and many of these girls are elite so they're going to be out there competing with the big dogs. They need to have four tumbling passes and all of the difficulty in between with these leaps and jumps. Kareem has a good presence and presentation. something that the judges look for as well. They look for difficulty, they look for flexibility and, and all of these things, but they look for presence. They look for who's really a showman, who can perform. Nice routine, three tumbling passes. Hit all three very nicely. Here's her final tumbling pass. Nice high double tuck. No problems there. And as we suspected, a, a very good score on the floor for Kareen Kava of 9.50. To the vault and the, the younger competitors, Gabriella Swart. She is something else. Here, she go, full. She didn't even need the launch. She flew off the board. 
big ball for, for, for such a young and small athlete. We were talking before um, the show started about vault and weight and the different body types of athletes, and she's so tiny she barely gets any spring off the, off right. the board. Right. Better vault, better second vault. You can see she gets a little bit better block off the horse, sends her a little bit up and out. Very nice. Barely touches uh, off the vaulting uh, horse. A score of 9.25 for young Gabrielle Suarda, one of the young types of uh, future stars that we told you about at the start out of the Parquets Gymnasium right here in Allentown. This is Randy Stageberg, a young athlete that we've seen several times over the years from Excalibur. And look at that start on the beam. Great upper body strength. It's so nice to see when they have pressed stands, stands, planches at the start of their routine. Wow, beautiful leap pass, switch leap, switch side, gorgeous toe point, full split. We always look for the big moves, the big, big skills, the, the tucks and the fronts and the full twist, but it's those leaps and jumps that can really get you sometimes. There's a big one right there, full twist. Beautiful sequence from uh, Randy. She has a big time look, Shannon. She does, she's very confident in every move that she's performing. Even when she has a little wobble here and there, she's able to hold on, stay confident in it. And that's half the battle, is just staying confident in your moves so that you're not making silly mistakes. Handspring, handspring, double pike dismount. Wow, big routine. Liked it. And here is this skill. What a great skill. She does what we call a tick-tock. Right back. There's the tick and now the talk. <laughs> right into a tuck full twist. Wow. Straight over the bean. Try doing that. No, no, thank you. <laughs> Never even a dream like that. And a, a, a dream like score 9.7 for Randy Stageberg. Big time indeed. Geraldin Stack Eaton, another of the elite athletes here. A year ago, scored very well here on the vault 9775. One and a half twisting your Chanko. Gorgeous form in the air. Doesn't get much better than that. Just that tiny, tiny step on the landing. One of the hometown team uh, for the Parkettes. Here's their second vault. Beautiful vault. Wow, that's going to score very well, and that is what she needs to do to show these college scouts that she de deserves a scholarship. We'll talk more about those wraps on her legs later in the competition, but a 9.675, an excellent score. Miss Stack Eaton. Now, also from Parkettes, here's the young lady we mentioned earlier, Julie Cotter. On the bars. Opens up full pirouette. Big reverse heck. Oh, caught that by her fingertips right to a pack salto. Difficult combination. Great finish. Really with a pained expression on her face has been battling some injuries. Didn't seem to bother her here. Started off with a bang and finished excellent for the judges. 9.475 for Julie Cotter and the hometown Parkettes team, which has high hopes. And here's another. You can call this one of Shannon's Angels. You've seen them in her special editions. Amber Traney. Biggest ball being performed wow. tonight. Yurchenko double full. She really exploded here. She does. She has a slight leg split coming onto the horse, but really gets that double twist in there. Amber Trainee scored 9-5 here a year ago. This is a powerful ball. Watch the height and the distance. Yeah. Looks good. Second on vault at the Visa Championships in the junior division. Oh, another excellent score, Shannon. 9.7 for Amber Trainee on the vault. 
back to the floor exercise from New York and the world class gymnastics club, Eliza Barak. And you can see the, the tremendous physical difference between the girls age 12 to 14 versus 14 through 16. It's a it dramatic really, difference. It, it's a dramatic difference, and it's really amazing to see that. What I like is that they're all here competing together. Mm -hmm. They're at different points in their career. These young ones just coming up, just starting out, but they're throwing some big skills. The older ones, a little more calm and a little more presentation, but they've still got these great skills in the 12 to 14 year category on the young side of that i know when i was coming up and i was her age i always loved being mm. in competitions with the older girls because that's who you looked up yeah, to great experience great influence nice job round off by handspring two and a half twist not bad at all. Score of 9.325 for young Ms. Barack. And that's the end of the first rotation. Three to come here for the crowd and for you on Shannon Miller's Gymnastics USA. We'll be back from Allentown with more right after this. Gymnastics is one of the most demanding sports in the world. The last thing you want to worry about is what you're wearing. So do what I did. Choose GK Elite Sportswear to look and perform your best. Gymnasts look to GK for the best fit, quality, comfort, and design. Choose GK for your workout and competitive apparel, and you will feel like a champion, too. For over 25 years, GK, the choice of champions. Some of the great athletes that have come out of this Parkhead Invitational over the years, and just some of the young stars that we've seen, Shannon. Alicia Sacramone, and of course, uh, everyone knows about Alicia coming out of the Boston area now. World champion on floor, and she's now at Brown University competing for their team and shooting for the 2008 Olympic team. Courtney Kupetz, along with her sister down at Georgia. Team silver medalist at the Olympics, individual bronze on bars. Now she competes for the Georgia Gym Dogs. Tia Orlando, a local girl, now out at Arizona State. Absolutely. She was in major international competitions as part of the U.S. team. Now competes for Arizona State. Stanford has a very strong team now. And uh, Nicole Harris, of course, at Arizona State as well. Teammates along with Tia Orlando doing very well at Arizona State, helping them out. And here are some of the young ladies that have gone on to Stanford. Alexandra. Alexander Pinchuk, level 10 gymnast, who is a junior Olympic national qualifier. And Stephanie. Stephanie Gentry, now her teammate at Stanford. Stanford doing very well, the Stanford team. And Corey Hartung in that uh, packed SEC powerhouse down there now, going to Florida. That's right. She's at number four ranked Florida and doing very well. Member of the 2003-2004 U.S. Senior National Team. It's great to see how many gymnasts come out of the park at Invitational and go on to college, get full scholarships. Yeah, it's nice to see. Who knows where these young stars are headed? Amanda Carpenter, we've seen her already. Here she is now on the bar. She already scored a 9-3-7-5 in her vault competition. Nice overshoot to handstand, right to her sit-up. Blind change to a Korkina, named after Russian Svetlana Korkina. And let go a little early in that double tap, but pulls it through just fine. Amanda's 14 years old. Great start to her competition. 9.375, uh, her score on the bar, as it was on the ball. And Aubrey Cristello now from World Class Gymnastics out of New York. And that's a Yurchenko half, or it's actually a Yurchenko half turn front layout. One of those blind moves, very difficult to land. You can see her drop her hips back when she landed. That caused that step backwards. She can stick this one. She'll go half front. Oh. Uh, oh. And just she dropped those hips back again, wasn't able to get that step backwards. But she'll take the first score. Well, you can see how easily these athletes uh, can get injured here. Uh, she had a 9.35 for Aubrey. Here's Crystal Welsh on the beam uh, for Docksiders Gymnastics, one of the younger athletes in the 12 to 14 age group. Last year, she finished fifth in the all-around in the 11 to 13-year-old division. Well, 
we also want to remember a lot of these girls, this, this is the start of the year, the start of the season, and they're trying out their new skills. Great double turn right there. Uh, they're trying out a lot of their new skills. They're getting ready for the big season ahead, and so if we see some falls here and there, uh, it could be because it's a new skill, not just because it was a mistake. And being performed in competition and in front of an audience. <laughs> always a little more nerve-wracking. But this is a great time to get all those new skills under your belt and start getting them out there in competition in front of an audience and, I mean, in front of television cameras as well. Yeah. Finishing up, nice high double tuck. Nice routine. She's happy. <laughs> Crystal Welsh scores a 9.2, and that's uh, the best payoff of all is when you see their faces and then you know they're happy with their own performance. Sharice Clark now from the Excalibur, the powerful Excalibur club. She too in the 12 to 14, the youngest age group here. Sharice is looking to defend her title. She was the all-around winner at last year's Parkett Invitational in her age group. Mm, great tumbling pass. Big tumbling, very powerful gymnast. So young. But Shannon, there's a big transition between this age group and when they hit 15, 16, 17, start becoming young ladies. It, it really, uh, it's a tough time for them, isn't it, that transition period? It really can be, and I almost look at my career as two parts. I have the, the kind of the younger Shannon Miller and then the older when you have to train differently. You have to focus on different things. It's no longer quantity, it's quality just to save your body. Um, you also can perform different skills better at different times during your career. Mm -hmm. seem to be work for her at all. No. <laughs> I was just gonna think I was just thinking that it doesn't look like she's even breathing hard. Right. Last time I had past two and a half punch front over rotating it. Oh. These were four very difficult tumbling passes. You know, she may have made some mistakes, but the, the raw talent is undeniable here. And that's another thing we'll, we'll see. We'll see the raw talent, and as they gain in kind of composure and get used to competing, get used to doing these skills over and over, yeah. then we'll start seeing the, the fine tuning. Yeah, that score could go from a 9.475 to a 9.8 in a hurry. Here's Gabrielle Smart, one of the uh, young, uh, smaller competitors, but boy, is she a dynamo for the Parquet team. these bars are she can swing all the way through without <laughs> even having to pike <laughs> yeah, I don't know how she gets from one to the other <laughs> it's a lot more work when you're that tiny full twisting double mm. back to finish great landing this was a really nice set for Gabby. Full twisting double back. Beautiful. Gabrielle Swart, one of the local girls here for the Parquet team, and a 9.25 on the vault. Or rather, I'm sorry, on the bars. We go to the vault, and Christine Agarbarino. Christine does a very interesting vault. Watch this closely. She does a front hamstring onto the board, then a front hamstring onto the horse, and a front mm. pike off. She liked it. Ball, tiny form breaks, but that stuck landing is going to help. Especially like, look what I did. <laughs> I always feel like those forward landings are a surprise. They always were to me. I just prayed a lot. <laughs> And there you have it. Her first uh, vault, obviously the better of the two. And she scores a 9.35 for Christine Garbarino. And now there's Randy Stageberg, who was so excellent on the beam. 9.7 and tries her hand on the floor exercise. Mm. 
gorgeous double Arabian. Definitely she really, a polished look. Definitely a polished look. She already looks like a cleat. Doesn't she? She's got that presence. Just 16 years old. There's an example of the showmanship we're talking about. College coaches just call and say hi. How you doing? <laughs> wow. Randy Stagers. I will be completely surprised if colleges aren't calling her up. Oh yeah. Hey Randy, you know down here in Athens it's 72 degrees today. <laughs> And a 9.6 on the floor for Randy to follow up her 9.7 on the beam. An excellent meet so far. Now here's Chris Kocha, who's already made a verbal commitment to the University of Denver. senior in high school competing for the Parkettes and uh, a lot of pressure on the local girls here. Form breaks here and there. Some flexed feet, separation on the legs. But lots of difficulty and a tough dismount. Swing half turn double front. Mm. She is not happy with that. No, and boy, talk about expressive. Christina Kocha happy with her routine. It's just so frustrating to know you can hit a routine and Oof. it just doesn't happen. She needs to be alone with her thoughts right now. Right here, she just doesn't ride it quite up high enough. She's a little off. Mm. Is not able to get her feet underneath her. Tough score, an 8.8. .8. And we'll be back as we continue in rotation two from the Parkettes Invitational in Allentown, PA. CNA Sports and Shannon Miller's Gymnastics USA returns. When I chaired the fundraising committee at our school, it was clear that Joe Corby's fundraiser was the only real choice. They made the whole process easy from the first phone call to delivery. Thanks to Joe Corby's, we had a successful fundraising campaign. Very successful. Everybody loves pizza. And it's a great activity for the whole family. A full house on hand for the annual Parquette Invitational, a full week of events and competition leading up to this final night. And uh, back to the competition in rotation two, Allison Sandusky competing for the Hills Gymnastics Group in the 15 through 16 age category. and competing in your Tanko half twist. Very nice form in the air. One small step backwards. Judges are looking for a straight body. They don't want to see any pike in those hips. Same vault, much better landing. almost exactly the same vault in the air, but a much stronger landing, less than that deduction. And the second of the two counts as her score, and a good one at 9.5. Geraldine Stack Eating, now from the local team, the Parkettes, who would dearly love to walk away with the team title. She was the overall winner here just two years ago. Chris Kocher, a teammate who uh, fell on the dismount and scored just an 8.8 .8 here on the bars. Starting off with a bang with a nice Maloney to the high bar. Toe full pirouette right to a reverse hex. Parkett's ah. uh -oh. having a little trouble over here on the uneven bars. Missed that. She had her fingertips on there and just could not hold on. 
has a few seconds to compose yourself and then complete a routine. And we did mention earlier, and you never like to make excuses, but they did just come back from a week-long national training camp, and those are just so physically demanding, and it's not always the best way to prepare for a competition. It may be a great way to train, but that's maybe different than actually preparing for a competition, so that's tough. Arabian double front, large step, disappointing routine for Geraldine. In uh, any uh, form of athletics, uh, you need a little bit of time off before you actually compete for those muscles to prepare and get fresh again. That's right. That's exactly right. So Geraldine Stack Eaton scores 9.05 on the bars, and now we go to the floor, and Alexandra Raceman from that uh, strong Brescian gymnastics team outside of Boston. I like her. She's got some attitude. <laughs> and one of the younger competitors here at 12. Wow. Double Arabian, this is a performer. And at such a young age, that's incredible. Nehi and Sylvia Breshton have sent a powerful group of young athletes here to Allentown. Shannon, if you ever want to see the best of America and uh, diversity and what it's done for our nation, you just need to come to any gymnastics event. It's really marvelous to see. It really is great to see. It's interesting. That, uh, oh, a nice tumbling pass. Very good. So far, very strong on the tumbling. You can see just a little bit feet, but overall, but what a package at 12 years old. Yeah, again, the raw talent just from shining through. Wow. Great performance. Yeah. Alexandra Raceman and these uh, young athletes, Here's these 12, 13-year-olds. Two and a half twist punch front. Big tum pass. Very nice. Just explosive. And what a score. 9.575 for Alexander. Kareem Kava scored very well on the floor exercise, a 9.5. She's in the uh, second oldest age category here, 15-16. Vichenko full twist. Again, great form in the air. That's so nice to see a lot of these athletes are really paying attention to that form. That's going to be crucial to their score as they move up to the elite level. Just keeping the legs tight and the uh, feet pointed, that sort of thing. Go full, sticking that landing, and that's the kind of college vault that the college coach just like to see. I was just going to say she has a great look and uh, a very uh, high degree of polish for a 16-year-old. Another look, even in slow motion, you can see those legs tight together and toes pointed. Kareem Kavab. 9.575 on the vault. Very consistent so far. To the balance beam now and another of the uh, hometown team from Parquets. Oh, Nicole Pachenik. Nice full split leaps. Reaching that 180 degrees that the judges have to see. We've really seen some, some wonderful beam performances today. A lot of these skills, that leap right there is incredibly difficult. Torsion Tay half turn. And the half turn, uh, as you've explained, you, you don't get to see the bar below your feet, right? That's right. You have to take your eyes off the beam, and, and that's so hard to do.
beautiful twist off. Now we heard the bell a little early, so I'm worried that she may have gone overtime. But overall, this was a solid routine, packed with difficulty. Very good. And you're right, there was a deduction for uh, going overtime. Otherwise, that 9.25 might have been a bit higher. Petra Mathis now and, uh, on our youngest age group. She's one of our youngest competitors at 12 years old. Now on floor exercise, Petra Mathis at Preston. Petra, 9.7 after a 9.65 on the beam. Amber training now. Coming off a 9.7 on the vault. And here are the Parquet girls again on the bars. Where they have struggled. Tomon flip her wet to a pack salto. Oh, touch down her feet. That's going to be a deduction. Reverse hecked, and they are missing that skill today. And this looks like she, she could have had it. You to reach out a little bit more. You to get that chest forward so you can reach that bar. Double front, big step on that landing. Rough bar routine for Amber. And the Parquet ladies continue to struggle with uh, the bars. And we are halfway now through uh, the four rotations down two. And let's talk about some of the young stars that we've seen already in that 12 to 14 age group. And they always tend to steal the show. Uh, Petra Matthews we talked about from the Breshtons group. Sharice Clark, Amanda Carpenter. Uh, boy, some young stars to watch here. They're fantastic to watch. Such talented young athletes and really staying composed during this competition. And in the, the 15 through 16, and these are women who are just about to burst onto the elite national scene. And uh, Randy Stageberg obviously has that big time look. She does. She's a wonderful look to her, a great presence, especially on floor exercise, powerful athlete. And these are the leaders halfway through and in 17 and up, the oldest of our three divisions, Garbarino, just uh, just a hair ahead of Stack Eaton, the local girl. And these girls are the ones that are looking for those college scholarships. So they're here to, to show up for the judges, but also for the scouts. You know, uh, we often talk, in your case, about the, the key moment in your career taking off, and, and Shannon brings that to you every time we see you on Gymnastics USA and uh, focuses and profiles some of these athletes. Here is another edition of Where the Dream Began. Where the Dream Began, presented by GK Elite, the choice of champions. Amber's a terrific vaulter right here. One of the most difficult vaults, Yurchenko double twist. Pretty landing. Amber 
Cheney is the daughter of Glenn, who owns a construction company, and Paula, a gymnastics instructor. She began her gymnastics training in 1992 at the age of two. She says she has so much energy as a toddler that her parents thought gymnastics would be a good use of all that energy. Amber is now a senior elite and trains at Parquet's Gymnastics in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Amber, how did you get introduced to the sport of gymnastics? Well, my parents brought me to Parquet's when I was two um, because my mom was a gymnast and she enjoyed it a lot. And I guess my parents noticed that I was kind of flipping around in my crib and like on the floor and stuff, and I just like to tumble, so they brought me here. What are some of your first memories of the sport? I remember once, I think it was like a level six, maybe seven competition, and it was called the Easter Classic, and it was just so much fun, and they weren't, it wasn't a very serious meet, but it was a lot of fun, and we did contests, and I ended up winning the competition, and I just remember my parents were so happy with me, and I wanted to keep making them happy and stuff, and I, I enjoyed it so much, and I wanted to be happy. A lot of girls um, growing up have trouble with their self-confidence, uh, no matter what sport they're in. How has gymnastics helped your self-confidence? Uh, it's just helped with overcoming obstacles in your life. And with gymnastics, if you have a bad day, you need to be able to change your attitude and try something different. And in life, if some things aren't working out for you, you can look at it differently and change your approach. What are some of the things that gymnastics has allowed you to do? Well, we get to do so many different things and we have the opportunity to go to different local schools and we get to read to some of the children there. And um, We have this program here where some of the people with disabilities come in and they get to try some of like the floor and beam and do fun stuff like that and we get to help them and it's an amazing feeling to know that we're helping them and letting them do something that they wouldn't normally be able to do. What advice would you give young girls that are just starting out in gymnastics? Don't take it too seriously. Like It is serious, but if you take it too seriously, it takes over everything, and that's all you think about it. And you need to have fun with it and enjoy it. Where the dream began. Presented by GK Elite, the choice of champions. Really good stuff from Amber and uh, Shannon Miller. And we'll be back with more of the competition for the 2007 Parquet Invitational right after this. The 2007 edition of the Parquet Invitational. We've seen some terrific performances by the young gymnasts already. And as we get back to the action, the Parquet team moves to the balance beam. And Christina Kosha an all-around score of 18.25 and in fifth place in the 17 and up division the senior division here Christina already having a rough time on Aniva bars and it's so difficult to cut your balance beam right after a, a fall on bar so let's see if she can kind of put that behind her and get this routine going she was so visibly upset she, she uh, walked right past the bench and, and into the uh, locker room for a few private moments to try and compose herself yeah it's hard to say you know sometimes i kind of wish i would have done that i used to get so frustrated i'm sure millions of people saw me cry quite a bit <laughs> but um it's tough to sometimes be right in front of people yeah. and going through your frustrations well this is the thing that you, you talked about also uh, and i thought was great in your piece with amber uh, young ladies as athletes it's a, it's a little bit different of an approach you, you can push but not too hard you know and in certain athletes uh, just work certain ways yeah. and um, you know sometimes you can push 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 and you'll get better and sometimes you can push 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 and it only gets worse no, you just, have to kind of know your athlete them. you don't yeah. want to do that yeah exactly so here's hoping that uh, Chris can come back with a good routine here on the beam and it looked pretty solid no major breaks during the competition not the most difficulty but no major breaks and that's got to feel good after an 8.8 .8 on the bar, she was so upset. And uh, let's see what she does here on the beam. Oh, that's that's solid. That's good. 9.20 for Christina Kocha from the Parquets team. On the bars, Aubrey Cristello in fourth place in her age group. Right to an overshoot. Good swing on the
those giants, blind change, front giant, right to a double tuck dismount. Pretty nice routine. Once again, no major breaks, just a large step on the landing, but got through that routine fairly well. Good score, 9.175, all relative to the other competitors that we've seen on the bar so far. And here's one of the most exciting uh, competitors so far, Alexander Reisman from the Brestians team. Shanko layout. Again, not the most difficult vault, but with these athletes, they're so young and they, they weigh so little that it's difficult at that age to get the push, the spring off the board. Um, I knew years when I just, I didn't weigh enough to, to make the springs compress. Great. She's learning the fundamentals. She's getting that Yurchenko layout down. down. And uh, as she gains strength, as she gains weight, she'll be able to get a more powerful vault going. Alexandra Rismon from the Brestians team with a score on the vault of 9.15. 9.15 for Alexandra Rismon. Christine Garbarino again in the senior division in first place for ladies 17 and up. Here on the bars, her third of four exercise. score here on the bars and Christine with a 9.25 will probably hold on to her position in tops of the 17 and up senior age group 15 to 16 division on the floor exercise Alina Weinstein Finishes on her final tumbling pass. Alina, Alina, Alina Weinstein. Weinstein. That was a really nice routine. I liked the dance. I liked the music. The whole performance, the presentation, the tumbling. Everything went well together. From the Arena Gymnastics Club, the score for Alina Weinstein is a 9.475. One of the best that we've seen. And now on the vault, this should be fun. Here comes Peter Matthews from the Christians group. place in the 12 to 14 division. Chanko full. Again, she's just missing that block. She's getting a little high on the horse. There's Miha with some advice before she takes her second ball to see if she can correct it. And the sign of a good athlete is someone that can take corrections in the middle of a competition mm. and make them. So let's see how she does. Obviously, not the score that she wants to take. The first ball. Better 
block. Well, better landing. Very nice. She's coachable. <laughs> she is coachable. Much better block off the horse. You can see the height she got above. Very good. Led to a much better landing. And a 9-5-7-5 as she tries to hold on to her lead in the youngest age group here at the Parkettes. The stars of tomorrow tonight with us. And we'll be back with more from Rotation 3 right after this. shared the fundraising committee at our school. It was clear that Joe Corby's fundraiser was the only real choice. Hardware at the end, Shannon Miller had to build an addition onto her house just to <laughs> store all of hers. At the Parkettes Invitational 2007. And back to the action, Karen Kava, who we've said again and again, has a beautiful polished look to her presentation, even at the age of 16. Usually we see the beam eating the girls up, but today it's been an even bars. Yeah, the bars has been the slippery slope here. Toe on, toe on. There's the reverse head. Oh, again. Once again, that is just a killer today. I tell you what, that's the worst feeling too, because you have the bar in your hands, and then all of a sudden you're you're standing on the floor, yeah. and you don't even know what happened. Double pipe to land. There's a reverse hex. She just doesn't quite get a good hold on the bar. Kareen Kava in second place in her age group. Uh, heading to the bar still pulls 9.075, even coming off. And now one of our favorites in the competition, Sharice Clark, in second place in the 12 for 14 age group. Clarissa Pensa of Docksiders on floor exercise. Tankle full, a little flat, doesn't get that big pop off the horse, mm. but nice run into it. She gets that big distance. Good straight lines until the very end there. Very much so. Nice body lines, good form in the air. Sharice Clark, 18.90 through uh, two rotations. Her second vault. A little mm. bit better block, better landing. Again, that run is just great. It gets her a lot of distance away from that horse. Very well done. She almost lands off the mat. Sharice Clark scores 9.45 on the vault, which just one rotation to go in her evening. Now Gabriel Swart, young dynamo from the Parkettes team, and needs a little <laughs> help to get up on the beam. Let's press the handstand. He's in fifth place in this talented age group, 12 through 14. Nice sheep jump, we call that. Mm, I love this camera angle. You can see how close she came to going off the edge of the beam. I like that camera angle, too, because I don't think people always right. realize how skinny that beam is. You start to take it for granted after a while. Stay on the beam, bend those legs. There you go. Good example. She's across. Straight on in that front summy. This is one of the reasons we used to videotape certain aspects of workout because you can really see what you're doing wrong if you get certain angles. Round off double tuck dismount. Strong routine, just that fall on the handspring layout step out. Here it is. Back handspring, layout step out. She drops that left shoulder, that left hip, and everything else goes. Gabriel Swart score, 8.65. The, ah, the young lady, come on, better days ahead. And that's just us, uh, just a tough one. What, what the turn of pressure. Morgan Evans knows something about uh, pressure. We talked about her at the start. Here she is on the vault. Beautiful vault. 
good form, as we're seeing all day long. Remember the national junior team trying to get her career back on the uptick. Really a great fall. Needs to stick that landing. Oh, goes for a one and a half. Now she misses it, but she's going for a much higher level vault. Yeah. So she'll still post 9.475 right now in 13th place overall in her age group. And Amber Trainey, also from the Parkettes. Amber coming off of a disappointing bar routine. place in her age group halfway home needs a good score here on the beam back tough and you'd hope that the park had to have a little bit of a hometown advantage since they train on this equipment day in and day out for Amber Trainey in eighth place overall. And uh, let's see if she can improve that on one of the toughest of the four exercises. And indeed, a 9.6. And she's trying to move past this young lady, Allison Sandusky, in fourth place as she begins on the bars where so many have struggled. Handstand. There's the overshoot to a nice handstand. Kip up. Very nice life change to Jaeger. Good bar set, a little short of that dismount. She didn't have quite the momentum on her swing. Opens up a little bit early, but really a very nice bar routine. And a good score from the judges for Allison Sandusky, a 9.25. 12 through 14 group, Amanda Carpenter currently in third place. score of 9.05 Amanda Carpenter on the beam it's always a smile when you just stay on <laughs> here's our first look at Brianna Guy overall score of 18.10 in ninth place in the youngest age category Double front. Mm. Beautiful. Linda 
that speed and acceleration and that tumbling things. Right back. The bounding pass. Difficult, a lot of timing involved with those passes. Brianna. Season flair. Many of these gymnasts, especially the young gymnasts, really seem to have that that dance background. They're paying more attention to that. That's so great to see. Nice combination of speed and power with grace. Here's her round up by Hansweek Double Pike to close. Wow. And Brianna has reason to smile. A 9.65 on the floor exercise should move her up as we continue with the competition from the 2007 Parquet Invitational from Allentown, PA. Gymnastics USA with Shannon Miller comes right back after this. In a refrigerator and the light goes on automatically. Really a growing sport in America, NCAA women's gymnastics and Renee Cook, co-head coach at, uh, for the Razorbacks of Arkansas is here. Travel to uh, Allentown, PA to watch these uh, young ladies on their way up and uh, hopefully fill their pipeline. Let's talk about the competition so far. We're three quarters of the way home, going to the fourth uh, rotation, as it were, and that uh, youngest age group, uh, Petra Mathis of uh, Brestians, still holding on to her lead over Cherise Clark. She is. What a terrific athlete. Now, I know Cherise is vying for that first spot. She wants to hold on to her title. So it should be a tough final event for these girls, but uh, Petra looks to be in the lead and did very well. And our next age group, uh, Randy Stajberg, still ahead of Kareem Kava. Once again, I'm just excited for the level of difficulty, the showmanship, the performance of these girls. Great polish in this group. And our senior division, such as it is, 17 and up, uh, Christine Gabarino, ahead of Petra and the seniors having a little bit more trouble, you know, falling on a lot of uneven bars. Um, but, um, you know, it's been a tough tra road, especially for uh, the parkettes. But uh, hopefully they'll still be out there uh, vying for those college scholarships. If you've been watching uh, Gymnastics USA through the years with uh, Shannon, uh, America's most decorated Olympic uh, gymnast, she'll tell you uh, that that beam can often be the bane of all gymnasts, particularly that dismount. It's the subject of tonight's edition of Essential Gymnastics. Essential Gymnastics, presented by Mancino, your premier safety padding manufacturer since 1966. Hello and welcome to another edition of Essential Gymnastics. In this edition, we're going to take a look at the different styles of balance beam dismounts. With me here today, I have three gymnasts from Parquet's Gymnastics, Lou, Gabby, and Julie. They're going to demonstrate three different styles of dismounts. The round-off dismount, handspring-handspring dismount, and the side dismount. Let's see what they've got. The most common dismount you'll see is still the round-off dismount. Usually a gymnast will perform a round-off double tuck or a round-off triple twist, two and a half. Let's take a look at what Gabby has. the back handspring, back handspring dismount. Some gymnasts, like Dominique Dawes, prefer this style. Let's take a look at Luz. take a look at the side dismount. These seem to be showing up more and more often in major competitions. Gymnasts will swing one leg along the side of the beam and perform a twist or flip off the side. Julie's going to demonstrate a gainer tuck.
always great to see variety and balance beam dismounts. Now the three you've just watched, those are the most common styles. But keep watching any gymnastics competitions and try to pick out any new types you might see. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Essential Gymnastics. Now, let's get back to the meet. Essential Gymnastics, presented by Mancino, your premier safety padding manufacturer since 1966. Talk about a, uh, there's a young lady who will probably be buying her uh, gymnastics clothing from Shannon and GK Elite. What a good look, Shannon. <laughs> Some sharp young gymnasts here as well as we continue from the Parquet's Invitational in the final and fourth rotation. Allison Sandusky currently in third place in her age group on the balance beam. Allison with a very solid meet. To this point. Oh. Hang on to that aerial. The judges are watching her feet closely on moves like that, making sure they get all the way around. So she might get a slight detection on that move. hands with the layout step out and it, it almost looked like she was just too low. Yeah. Didn't take any time but right back up. In third place overall. And right before the dismount that's too bad. Yeah. Here's her series we'll take a look at what went wrong right here. And you can see how close her head was to the balance beam. She just seemed to be too low to get her feet underneath her. To be a disappointment for Allison Sandusky, her last event of the meet, an 8.90 for Allison. Let's see how it plays out. Uh, to the vault now, and uh, looking to move up from seventh place, Alita Weinstein. Nice, your Tanko full really waits after that block before she starts twisting. Right here, hesitation and then twisting. Second vault for Alina. She needs a little more power. Big block, getting that full twist in. Landing with her chest a little bit low, which will be a slight deduction. But not a bad vault at all. Alina score a 9.2 in her last event of the evening. Let's see if it's uh, good enough to move her up into the medal competition, but uh, certainly in the mix. And the youngest age group here is Alexandra Raisman of Brestian's Gym. And Alexandra will be performing on the bars where so many have struggled. 27.875, good for third place to this point. Circle of Coach Mia, I'll move in there for a spot. Mm -hmm. She really just Ooh. attacks. She's got that swing going. Just took me high up. <laughs> nice eye overshoot. Front giants and the back giants. Big double pike dismount. Wow, great routine. Great competition for Alexandra. I love this. She completely attacks everything in this routine, ending with a great double pike dismount. Not much of a score, though, Shannon. Was the degree of difficulty uh, rather low? And that could be it. Um, not a lot of big release moves. We've seen three, four release moves in some routines, not this one. We'll be back with a conclusion. We're in the home stretch of rotation four from the Parquet Invitational right after this. If you think...
I said it earlier, despite what Billy Joel might sing to you, the town of Allentown is well on the comeback trail here in the great industrial northeast, and what a great center it is for gymnastics, particularly the Parkettes in their annual invitational. We're back to the action now, and there's Miha Breshtian and his young star athlete, Petra Mathis, who is in first place overall and here on her last event. Are so wide for these young athletes. She actually has to jump from bar to bar. Line change, Jaeger, and another miss. Uh, and she had uh, such a great competition going. Now, what's coach saying now? Compose yourself. Compose yourself, it? yeah. Where to start back on your routine. Nice full pirouette. Slow that swing down for that overshoot. Very nice. Front giant swing, double front. Uh, and it was a fantastic bar routine other than that big miss. Right here, beautiful straddled Jaeger just can't hold on. It's that slippery high bar that has given so many so much trouble. And young Peacha a little bit exasperated with an 8.7. She was in first place beginning that event. Here's Kareem Kava, who's had such a solid meet. Second place overall. series. No problems here for Curry. She's got a few balance checks here and there with different skills, but no big breaks so far. Handspring one and a half dismount. Nice beam routine. She makes it through. Like I said, no big breaks. Here's her dismount, back handspring, step out, one and a half twist off. Kind of typical of her entire meet. Uh, Shannon always under control, makes it look easier than it really is, and a 9.4 on the beam. And her group, she begins in second place. Uh, that may be a, a big score for her. We'll have to see. Sharice Clark, overall in second place in her age group. She just watched Petra Matthews open the door. On the bars. It's a chance to go right through or not. Big Shpashkova, right back to an overshoot. A little short of those handstands, but big skills. Mm. Another release move. She is just about done. Double tuck wow. and nails it. Very nice. Great under pressure. Looking for her second title. Very mature meet for Sharice Clark, who uh, scores very well. 9.475 on the bars. Brianna Guy now. Her last event. Uh, trying to move up from fifth place. Front hand swing, front pike with a half twist. Big fault. Plenty of power. Front hand swing gets a huge block off the horse. Gets a half turn in. Snaps down and way over rotates. She gets to count one of these vaults. She needs to land this one. There she goes. 
few steps on the landing, but much better than her first ball. Really powerful, great height in the air. And one of the best scorers of the meet on the vault, a 9.575. Let's go back to the bars. Christine Jacobson is performing there in the 12 to 14 age group. Shannon for Christine, the score is 9.3 on the bars. And now on the floor exercise, and in fourth place, beginning her last routine, is Amanda Carpenter. In this very competitive age division, that will hurt. That was tough. It's very difficult to see from the angle we were at what she did wrong, but it's a one and a half twist to a punch pull twist. Very easy to get off. did wrong here. Round off by can spring. Full and a half twist. She just seemed to punch a little bit early. Again, it's tough from that angle. But those rebounding moves, the bounding passes, they're so iffy on timing. You just have to be perfect. Amanda hoping to score in the ninth here on her last routine of the evening an 8.6 on the floor exercise. Here's an athlete in first place, uh, Shannon, has been near flawless. And let's see if she can survive those slippery bars. All she needs to do is hit. She's got beautiful form, very nice toe point, gorgeous oh. ginger, and another miss. Splat. But I tell you what, that's probably the prettiest ginger I've seen in a long time. This has just been a very difficult bar day for these athletes. I wonder if someone's rubbed it down with some wax or something. Nice dismount. Andy just a little bit disappointed, of course. Disappointment with that skill. But once she starts hitting that skill, it's going to be a great bar team. Not bad considering 9.025 as she tries to hold on to her lead in the 15, 16 year old age group. We are coming down to the final events from the Parkhead Invitation. We'll be back with more in the conclusion right here on CNA. How would you like to have wider? We're back from the Parkhead Invitational. Some excellent performances in all the age groups, and we look for our uh, overall winner to emerge here from our final events of the evening. 
Christina Kosha of the Parkettes in fifth place overall. Had a tough time on one event, but has been solid since. That's a big double pike. She's got that sting mat in there, which is, of course, allowed. Teammates appreciate her final score of 9.55. That should do her well and move her up. Age group 12 to 14. The youngest uh, here at the Parkettes. This is Crystal Welsh, who is in sixth place overall. Nice high Yurchenko full twist. A little high on the horse. Doesn't get that block off of there, but still a very good vault. Crystal. Better vault. Yeah. Better vault, better landing. Very nice landing. Great balance. Just get a little bit more power off the horse this time. Good form in the air and a much better landing. Crystal Welsh with a good vault on the second, a 9.475. Tried to move up from sixth place. From the hometown Parkett's team, little Gabriella Swart, who has come up big in this uh, meet so far. This is her final routine of the day. She's in eighth place overall and now on the floor exercise. way to finish your competition just disappointing a little bit on balance beam with the fall but coming back strong on the floor what elevation she had on that tumbling thing she's got some height and she's another one that just doesn't look like a powerhouse but wow gabriella swart her final routine of the day 9.325 trying to move up from eighth into metal contention for the park team and now toy garcia on the vault 
Sixth place overall, age 15, 16. Go full, just a big step. Just gonna look forward to trying to stick this second one. Some good power off the horse. He's in sixth place overall. Would like to improve on that vault to try and move up. Our second try here. Oh! Uh oh. Oh, jeez. Oh! for the best here. Oh, and you hate to see something like this happen ever, especially at the end of the competition. Mm. Oh, ankle just gave out. And luckily, oh. there's trainers and everyone's right there with her. <sighs> and obviously, we don't know exactly what happened, but that's unfortunate. There's so many safety pads and, and so many safety mattings available for gymnasts. It's just, it shouldn't happen. Try to update you before we're done. Toy Garcia carried off what looks very much like an ankle injury. Here's Geraldine Stack Eaton now, right back to the action uh, in seventh place for the home team, the Parquets. Looking for a big finish. Wow, big pipe full in, and you could see. You can see her calves and her shins all taped up. She's got shin splits she's been battling for some time now. Coming back with a huge double Arabian. There was great height. Boy, if you've ever had shin splints, that is really painful. It really is. And the tumble on top of it, it's one thing to do in the competition, but you also have to train day in, day out. Yeah, that's the tough part. Uh, muscles on the front side of the calf that actually pull, pull away from the bone. And the toughest part is they're really difficult to heal. Yeah. It's, it's one of those you have to them. rest. Yep. It's like a handshake. <laughs> you tell that to a gymnast, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> Doing very well here, though. She was the overall winner here just a couple of years ago. Stumbling pass. Beautiful double pipe. Really solid routine. Geraldin Stack Eaton. Wow, this was a really nice routine. Replay shows the great elevation. She does. She gets some good air. Nine seven for Geraldine Stack Eaton. That's big for her and for the Parquet team. Shelby Keys now in the 15 16 age group. First look at Shelby on the bars. 12th place. Some nice stall to mm. work right there. Huge reverse head. Beautiful toe point. Oh, wow. Closing with a giant through to a double tuck. Mm. Really nice routine. How about that? This really was a beautiful set. Gorgeous toe point and perfect landing. And Shelby with the best score of the event on the bars, 9-6-2-5. Now Amber Trady uh, kind of wraps it up for the Parquets. Featured uh, by Shannon earlier here. Big double front. And it looked like she would have had plenty of room to set that bounce. in fourth place overall. Really nice flexibility on all her leaps and jumps. Half double pipe. Oh, and just tapped the floor. Now the judges may or may not take 
take a fall on that. It could be a three tick reduction or a five tick. the home team. Some really powerful tumbling. She could do a half twist out of that. Coming back here, this is her one and a half twist through to a double pike and just touches down forward. Amber, who's going to be a gym dog down in Athens and uh, wraps it up with a 9.0 on the floor where they could use her help there. And uh, what will happen here? Who will take home the gold, silver, the bronze, etc.? We'll be back with the winners from the Parquets right after this. Well, you talk about some of the fine people at the grassroots level, Bill and his wife Donna Strauss, who run Parquets and put together the Invitational and uh, starting to hand out some of the awards now to the many champions here at the 2007 event. And we should tell you right now that, that Toy Garcia did suffer a uh, broken ankle on that fall. And boy, that puts some things in perspective on what you guys go through as athletes out there. It really is. You know, you see these young girls out there and you forget they really are athletes. I mean, they get injured, they have to work through stuff as well and uh, I guarantee you she'll be back at the gym. Boy, I'll tell you what. Let's take a look now at the winners beginning with the youngest uh, group and they were sensational. Cerise Clark, uh, Petra Matthews. Brianna Guy moves up at the end. A wonderful young talent. Cerise winning her second all-around title. Petra doing very well and Brianna Guy uh, just terrific performances. Uh, those are some names to keep an eye on as well as 15-16. Uh, Randy Stajberg with an outstanding meet. Kareem Kavas so solid all the way through and Toy even with the broken ankle, grabs a bronze. Well, that's uh, his one saving grace. He still gets a bronze, and what an exciting competition to watch for these for this age group and these young athletes. And on under the watchful eye is the, the college coaches we mentioned, particularly the 17 a year and up. Uh, some of them still not committed to, to school, but Christina Koshia, the overall winner here. Heading to University of Denver, I'm sure that they're excited about her performance here today, and um, along with these other athletes that are looking forward to college. I mean, it's a great Thing. That's not a bad city to go to college in, by the way. <laughs> Denver, beautiful. Just stunningly beautiful if you've never been there. But Allentown, PA, our site, and the team results. And by the way, $1,500 uh, prize goes to the winning team. In this case, Excalibur to help defray their expenses. Excalibur uh, and the park gets, I guess, a little bit disappointed since they host this event every year. Uh, you know, a little bit disappointed they have to be. They're coming off that very difficult training camp, but obviously there's no excuses in gymnastics. You have to be prepared for when the competition happens and I'm sure it's a little bit disappointing being that it is their hometown. And I want to note that $1,500 prize uh, Shannon this is uh, these parents and the supporters of these young athletes it's very tough and straining financially isn't it? It is it's an expensive sport as every parent knows and uh, this money can go towards uh, buying equipment for the gym bringing in choreographers bringing in clinicians that sort of thing. Travel expenses all of it we're happy to bring you uh, these young stars of tomorrow uh, Gymnastics USA with uh, Shannon Miller. It's been our pleasure. My name is Lou Tilly. For all of us at CNH Sports, thanks for joining us again, and we hope to see you here real soon.